In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace drum sounds using the audio to MIDI drum trigger in Reaper. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to replace drum sounds just using audio samples. But in this video, we're going to do it a bit differently. We're going to use a plugin called Audio to MIDI Drum Trigger. And luckily, it's installed with Reaper. So let's check it out. I have a project in front of me here with some drums, some bass, guitars, and a vocal. Let's hear it now. Let's just hear the drums. And they sound pretty good, but I want to make them sound more aggressive. So let's start with the kick. We'll select the kick and duplicate it. Right click, duplicate tracks. Let's rename this one Kick Sample. Then we'll go to the effects on this track. And we'll search in the filter for trigger. And this plugin right over here should show up Audio to MIDI Drum Trigger. Let's double click it, and it looks like this. Now, before we adjust any of the parameters, let's add a sampler after the plugin, because this plugin sends MIDI, which can trigger a sample. So we'll double click over here, and we'll choose Resample Matic 5000 which is the sampler that comes with Reaper. Double click it, and it looks like this, and we can add samples right in here. So let's go to the View menu and choose Media Explorer. Then we're gonna find a kick sample right in here. Now in the previous video, we chose this sample to use. So let's use this one again. We'll right click it, Go to Insert into Sample Player and choose Reuse Active Sample Player, which will add this sample to the Resample Matic plugin that's open. Let's close the Media Explorer and the sample is in here. So now this is already set up to receive any MIDI note on any MIDI channel. So I don't need to adjust that over here. We can make adjustments to the threshold, which decides how loud the signal needs to be to trigger our sample. Let's solo this. Notice we're not hearing it. Bring it down until we do. And we can adjust the close threshold as well, which decides at what level the threshold closes. Then we can adjust the re-trigger interval, if we're getting too many double hits. And we can also adjust the signal mix. But because we put this on a separate track, we'll just leave it to just hear the sample. So now it's blended with the original kick. Let's hear it in the track. Stupid laughter. I feel like a number one under the fading sun. And now we could layer it with another sample if we want. Let's duplicate this track again and put a different sample on this one. Let's choose this one, right click it, insert into sample player, and reuse the active sample player. So now this plugin is going to trigger this sample. Let's hear that all together. And what's nice about this 
is we can also adjust the pitch of the sample right here. Makes it sound nice and deep. Here in the track. Before and after. Stupid after. I feel like a number one under the fading sun. And let's try the same thing with the snare. We'll duplicate this track. We'll rename it Snare Sample and add the plugin to this. Right here, add a sampler. Right here, open the Media Explorer and let's choose a snare sample. Let's choose this rock snare. Right click, insert into sample player and reuse the active sample player. Now the sample is being triggered right here. And again, we could adjust it right in here. And let's blend it with the other snare. And again, we could layer this by duplicating this track and change the sample to a different one. Let's try this one. Right click, insert into sample player, and reuse the active sample player. Let's hear them blended. And again, we could adjust the pitch of the sample right over here. Again, before. Stupid after. And after. Stupid after. I feel like a number one. Under the fading sun. And our hearts beat faster now.
that's pretty much it. That's how to replace drum sounds using the Audio to MIDI drum trigger in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.